All right, congratulations. You've made it this far into the course. I'm very proud of you. And uh, assuming that you've done all the practice and you've done all the work uh, like we've asked you to, uh, I'm guessing that you're a pretty solid technician by now um, and that you've understood and you're aware of the assembly and the structure of most of the common smartphones today. In our last section, we're going to talk about some expenses uh, of, of screens and micro parts, uh, replacement parts, uh, and how you can make a profit and, and, and uh, the price range that you could uh, charge for a customer. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go over uh, another repair technique. It's called soldering. Um, we have a, a technician with us that's been um, involved in the soldering business for, I think, 15 or 16 years. So he's an expert. Uh, so we're going to show you some videos on micro soldering, uh, like certain phones that still require uh, a solder gun uh, such as the Galaxy S3 to repair the charging port, uh, the microphone and even the uh, volume buttons on um, the Galaxy S4 and even the power button on the Galaxy S4 uh, and whatnot. Uh, soldering has become more and more um, irrelevant uh, for cell phone repair these days. With all these flex cables, everything seemed to be connected with a flex cable, the charging port, the battery, uh, the LCD, the digitizer flex, everything, uh, whereas the phone prior to that, the, the iPhone 3 and the 3GS, uh, even to remove the battery you would have to desolder and solder it. Uh, to remove uh, certain things you would have to uh, desolder it. So it, it's sort of irrelevant. Um, if this was about three years ago, then I think soldering would have been one of our uh, top sections. It, it, it would have been a huge money maker. But today, uh, it's been reduced to the rules of simply uh, the charging port or volume keys or power keys on uh, some smartphones. And then if you want to get into some really complicated repairs, um, like the iPhone 4, uh, for example, uh, while you're removing the back camera, you can accidentally uh, knock off uh, the, front, the back camera capacitor. Uh, which is a really a tiny, um, tiny micro component, and that can actually be desoldered and soldered on. Uh, but it requires um, a lot of skill. Uh, it, it requires a lot of experience. Uh, so that's a repair that we really wouldn't recommend uh, for a few reasons. Um, not a whole lot of people would be willing to pay uh, more than thirty bucks or forty bucks for that kind of repair. Uh, because it, usually their phones are going to be within warranty so they can just get a new one uh, by dropping it off to <clears throat> the warranty center. Uh, so you're not going to get a whole lot of those repairs. Um, and, and even if you do, uh, you, you probably won't be able to get away with, with the charging too much. Uh, so uh, my strongest recommendation is actually uh, stay away from that repair uh, if possible. Um, but if you absolutely have, and if you have some good background, uh, and experience in micro soldering, then go for it. But uh, it's it's one of the more dangerous repairs because um, when you, when you solder a motherboard uh, and, and with in, in removing some of these pieces, sometimes you have to use hot air, uh, which we're going to show you in, in the next three of our videos. Uh, you can sometimes overheat the motherboard, uh, and when you overheat the board, the logic board, uh, it, it can damage it. It can just completely stop working, even with all the protocol and protecting it and, and covering everything else and just focusing in on that one area, uh, it, it's still a dangerous, um, okay, maybe not dangerous, but it's still a risky repair. So once again, it, unless you're really experienced in soldering, uh, I wouldn't really recommend that repair. And also to teach you everything that there is to know about soldering, uh, I wouldn't be able to fit it into this section. Uh, we would have to ask our technician who's uh, the soldering expert to create an entire course on just soldering. Uh, on Udemy. Uh, so it's a huge, vast um, piece of knowledge. Like I said, I really don't think we could fit it in this one section. Um, but uh, we will try our best to go over some of the basics and how you can use that in repairing uh, cell phones and how it specifically applies to cell phones. So for this, uh, for this section, you're going to need obviously a workstation, a solder station that has a hot air gun and a solder gun. Now you're going to want a small solder tip and you're also going to want a small uh, hot air tip. Uh, you're going to also want uh, a wet sponge uh, to shock off the solder residue on your solder gun. You're going to want some solder, uh, some <coughs> rosin core solder, uh, preferably low melting point. Uh, you're also going to want some solder flux, some solder paste, and you're also going to want some uh, a solder wick, uh, preferably one of the smaller ones, uh, to uh, to help you in, in all of these repairs. Okay, so... Uh, it's going to be really uh, small micro repairs, so we're going to try our best to 
um, get a magnifying glass, a helping hand in the way to show you exactly what we're doing. Um, but like I said, once again, um, for the soldering, if I were you, for, for the two main reasons, I would restrict it, uh, I would reduce it to uh, just the microphone or the charging port repair and not, not really any logic port repair because uh, number one, you're not going to get a whole lot of these repairs. Uh, I've been doing this for seven years. Uh, maybe we'll get them once every two months. And then number two, uh, they're not very lucrative uh, because no one really, uh, unless you live in an area where people love to pay a lot of money for that, uh, it's just for some reason, I, I can't put my finger on it, not a whole lot of people want to pay a lot of money for something like that. Um, and if I could add a third reason, it's actually sort of risky as well. So you, you're doing a, a pretty risky repair uh, for, for, for low profit, uh, and at the same time you're risking damaging their phone entirely, which now you're, you're going to have to cough up a brand new phone for them. Uh, so once again, my, my, <laughs> my encouragement is uh, stay away from it for those three reasons. Uh, but if you want to uh, do it anyways, uh, then watch these next three videos. And uh, we'll also link some other videos of how people have um, desoldered and resoldered logic boards, such as uh, um, have, how people have removed capacitors and how people have uh, resoldered uh, capacitors and whatnot, uh, and IC chips as well. Uh, so again, you're doing this at your own risk. Uh, we're going to attach some videos that we found were really helpful that aren't ours. And we're also going to put uh, three or four of our own videos. Uh, watch it. And if you feel confident enough to do it, then by all means, go for it. And uh, good luck.